good health today. The drug industry has faced a lot of criticism for skyrocketing prices. And now it seems that the low prices of certain drugs are also causing problems, creating shortages that are a matter of life and death for some patients. Karen Hayes' diagnosis with bladder cancer came as a shock. Having cancer is, is not something I thought was going to happen. Um, nobody does. Then she was dealt another blow. The best drug to treat her disease wasn't available. That kind of took away the last little bit of strength I had for a little while. The drug is called BCG. It's a decades old treatment for bladder cancer. It was the first and still the most effective immunotherapy for cancer. And with BCG, we have about a 70% success rate in obliterating high grade cells. But it's in short supply. The drug was originally made by Sanofi and Merck. But after manufacturing issues, Sanofi stopped making BCG in 2016. And though Merck says it's more than doubled production, BCG still isn't available to everybody who needs it. To say to somebody, we don't have that, and I can offer you inferior products. Uh, is, you know, decimating. It's no question that it's caused deaths. BCG is just one of more than 100 drugs in shortage. Well, these are very, very inexpensive drugs, and so it's not very profitable to make these products, but it's also difficult to make these products. In many cases, it doesn't make uh, economic sense for a company to make one of these old, cheap drugs when they could make something more expensive. A painful reality for patients like Karen. We are perfectly capable of making enough of this, this substance. We just, our system chooses not to. Now, for comparison, BCG costs $157 a vial, which patients will get once a week for six weeks. The cancer drug Keytruda and other similar medications are priced at $13,000 per month. Now, for their part, Merck says it does remain firmly committed to patients and continues to work around the clock to get BCG to as many people as possible.